Hi, that is my Tesla turbine, improved version, prototype, there is no bearings, that is a Cooper pipe, 50 mm diameter, it perfectly fits uh, the inner diameter of the CD discs, that is the motor, before there was two bearings these you believe it or not but friction with these bearings take 40 watts of power only friction not useless power it looks like it spe spins well but it really takes takes 20 watts each bearing I use uh, magnetic bearings seen in internet and I think it uh, works much much better than these bearings one side of a pipe I will take on that I will put on that and other side will flow on the air there is two magnets there is two magnets you see them now I take a shaft one side I put there uh, one bearing else other. you see that side flows on air these discs uh, weights something it weights and that magnet must must uh, I don't know how it's on English <laughs> okay let's see how it works there is not perfect centering you see and for start to ring I must I must take it okay let's start to run it spins You hear it spins. I will show you how it push. I mean, let's take a match. Oh. And you believe it or not, but motor itself takes takes much as much power as uh, ringing this. It takes 15 15 watts without the shaft with CD disc, and it takes uh, as much power 15 watts to to spin this but when it spins this he takes a wind out he makes a wind so that bearing doesn't take a a any power that is contactless frictionless bearing you see it works perfectly 
but it works only if uh, if power is uh, used uh, on all sides of that. If you push it on one side, you see it starts to to jumping. But for Tesla turbine, it works perfectly. Okay, sorry for my English. Thank you. That was Roma.